Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel with Charlotte. So in today's video I'm doing a thrift up flip or thrift up cycle depending on which one you want to use, which one I use for this title. So really what you want to do is you either use your own clothes or use secondhand clothes you bought from like a thrift store or you know bought off someone whatever and you want to kind of alter them by like DIYing, you know, sewing, adding buttons cutting it up, I don't know, whatever you want to try and reuse your clothing so that, you know, you don't have to buy any more clothes because, as you probably know, well, I mean, it depends how old you are, I guess, and how informed you are on issues, I guess, but as you may or may not know, fashion is so detrimental to this, to this earth. So many of the processes of how they make the clothing and just so many of the things associated with it are so unsustainable, and that's something that I'm honestly an advocate for, is that if I can buy sustainably, which you can, you know, that's the whole point of this video, or if you can try and minimize, even just like go walk instead of drive a car, like minimize impacts the environment, you should. I'm just really excited for you guys to see it because I'm quite happy with how it turned out because because I am filming this intro a couple months after I first started filming this because I literally did one thrift flip a month if not every two months so this video is very spaced out so it might be a little bit different because it's probably like six months or so yeah bye guys the first thrift flip is this polo shirt that I bought from Goodwill for probably like four dollars something like that and I just wanted to crop it so here's the finished result it is really short it is look look at that how short it is I mean, it doesn't look good with what I'm wearing now. I'll show you what I'm wearing now. It's really small. It's really small. I thrifted this top for one dollar, which is crazy to me. So I wanted to crop it because I've just really been wanting to find some cute little tops like this. And I think this style's becoming more popular nowadays. I also really wanted to emphasize that I didn't want to wear them together, just so you know, and don't think I'm horrible. The first step was to use this erasable marker. You can just use any pencil, whatever, it doesn't matter. It just washes out in the washing machine. So after I kind of cut out approximately how short I wanted to cut it, I measured the length to make sure that it was the same length all around the shirt if that makes sense so I think I made it two centimeters if that's if you want like an accurate description of after doing that I just pinned it together so that it's a lot more accurate don't stress if the measurements aren't exactly perfect it's all good Do you dare quelque chose? No. No. <laughs> just don't stop it. Voila. Oh. <laughs> um. Let me just get started. I also ended up cropping these trousers that my sister wanted me to, and I actually did a pretty good job. So I was like really proud of myself. So here it is. So the third thing that I sold is this green romper that I bought from. I didn't buy it. My sister bought it from Hollister or Roxy. Just one of those kind of like Australian surf shops. This is not sponsored, obviously, but I really like their shots. I think shop, not shop. I think they have some just really cool designs that are quite beachy. If you live in kind of beach type of area, I'm not gonna name a couple just because you might be like, oh, you literally don't know the geography of the world, and that's honestly true anyway so what was kind of hard about this process is that since it was a romper it was short that makes sense so it's kind of like long shorts it's
it's kind of like a dress but then there's shorts at the bottom if that makes sense that doesn't really make sense I had to cut up straight to unsew the little bit of like the flap the issue with that though is that since there's the flap I was trying to find a way to either put them on top and then sew along the sew along these stitches so then the flap is somewhat close or I need to find a way to cut the fabric and tuck it underneath and I don't know why it took me so long I think it took me about five minutes to try and pin it correctly which doesn't sound like that long but I kept pinning it and then unpinning it and then pinning it again so in the end I ended up kind of tucking it in slightly meanwhile cutting a little bit of the fabric off and pinning it I tried to do it so that the two sides would be as straight as possible because obviously you don't want one side to be longer than the other which is kind of bound to happen with a romper if you're trying to turn it into a dress just because the fabrics will be uneven because they were short anyway after that I sew it I just use simple grain thread and white threads that I would easily blend together let me know if you guys wanted me to film more sewing related videos or sewing tips because really enjoy making them here is the final product one side turned out way better than the other one I'm not gonna lie one side far better but that honestly doesn't matter because it looks pretty good and it was kind of stupid she bought the romper came home didn't really like it couldn't return it because she bought it on final sale so you know how they discount it came home was like ew I don't actually like this I was like are you dumb <laughs> this is why you don't buy stuff so at least now she'll wear it which is really good and if she doesn't wear it then I will or like I can sell on depop or something like that so this is what it looks like that's creepy ass. Okay, so I decided to style just with a simple white t-shirt because I feel like it's just quite flattering and you can kind of just wear it wherever. So it's like city girl, you know what I mean? And, or you could just wear like a bathing suit underneath. But I don't know about you, but I see all these people on Instagram wearing just bralettes underneath like things like this. And I'm like, girl, I wish I couldn't. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. I just paired it with these. Oh, let me try not flash. They are way too big. I did not do all the lace. Whoa. <laughs> I fully just flashed. Just then that was really embarrassing. Whoa. Oh, my parents wonder why I do my spare time. This is literally it. Um, okay. Also, ignore my hair. It's really nasty. It's good in the hairdresser's door. The t-shirt is brandy mobile. I'll be surprised. So, yes. The stitching honestly looks so good. Like, it looks like it's meant to be. And enjoy my sound effect. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bedtime. <laughs> Oh my god, no wonder I'm literally gonna get bullied at school for doing YouTube when I post shit like this. And I'm gonna start with the pink shirt since it's a lot easier. I attached the straps back together and I put a little bit of pink thread just because I thought it would be a bit more interesting. So here's the final. The fifth day I white brandy metal top brandy melville top and i put in a, this just white t-shirt as reference because i mean it's brandy melville as well so you can just see what the length was before and then what i've done that i've sewn ties on the side which is really popular on pinterest at the moment i've seen it literally everywhere i really want one of those like purple or red um going out dresses with the scrunches on the side anyway so here it is i honestly i did not cut it straight are we surprised i literally watched a tutorial to do this so i don't know why it's not straight but somehow it is on the side as you can see i'm lucky the video same time so you can either scrunch it down to make the shirt longer or you can make it shorter and it's just got these cute little ribbons on the side and it just makes it more exciting because I don't really think I've ever worn that t-shirt and I probably wouldn't have just because it's a bit of an awkward length because it was really long the back is not looking cute but you know what if I can't see it then it's fine thank you guys so much for watching I seriously appreciate it so much because I spent so much time upcycling these items and DIYing them and I'm honestly I can say I can seriously say that I'm so glad with how so many of these people turned out because I know for a fact heaps of those I would have like given away I never throw out clothes but you know I would have like donated been in the back of my closet if you guys want to keep watching some sewing videos I've got a couple more on channel which I will link down below and I've also got some other thrift up cycles or like thrifting or just other fashion related things or if you don't want any of that stuff I got lots of other vlogs for you guys to watch like travel videos I'm going to leave you now thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought comment down below follow me on all my social media yeah and I'll see you guys next week bye Thank you.